Nan Wynn is live in Sacramento with a look at the items up for grabs at Witherill's Western Design Auction. Hi, Nan. Good morning. Yeah, it's a popular auction. It's back every year. I was here this time last year. Last time they let me hop on a saddle today. I didn't dress appropriately enough, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> but there are two of them here that you guys can come check out, and they're all pretty fancy, well designed, and uh, also just plenty of stuff. What I wanted to mention there are a ton of paintings here uh, that will also be part of the Western Design Auction, about 100 items in the slot. But I wanted to point out one in particular that we thought was so fun. It's that eight foot long Levi's ad. And I have Brian here with Rose. Tell me where this came from and the story behind it. Good morning. And this was out of an estate here in North Sacramento. It actually hung in a barber shop on Del Paso Boulevard for about, nine, about 40 years until he retired and passed oh, wow. away. Wow. Okay. And then it said, was this the same one? It was in the Auburn Hotel? No, that was a bar that we had. Oh, the bar. Excuse okay. me. Yes, that is a massive bar. It's at our annex oh, across the street. Well, I'm glad you mentioned it because that was the other thing I was going to talk about. If you want to see that, come down. The preview is happening starting tomorrow. You can come check out the items, see them online as well, right? Correct. And that one, you said, is pretty neat. That's very neat. Yeah, neat historic bar. So we'll be open from 1 to 5 tomorrow for a special preview. I love it. So right here on this table, there are a couple items we want to talk about, too. Um, in particular, I always find, try to find things that I can play with. So there are two different little, I, they're kind of like slot machines, but they're not quite that, right? They're right. They're trade stimulators. So when they outlawed gambling, a way to circumvent that was to not pay out in money, but to pay out in other things. So you could pay out with gum or cigars. In this case, I believe it's cigars. Okay. So I naturally went and I was like, oh, no, it doesn't work. But it's probably good because I'm not good at gambling and I would just lose all my money. But then Brian was so nice and he brought out some coins for me for, to try this one. So I'm not losing my money if it doesn't work out. What is this one for? Same idea? Trade Same idea. Yeah. So a trade stimulator. So you drop your coin in here and then this... If it were working right. Oh, see, never does it when you want it to do it on <laughs> right. TV. It was, we just tested it out before we went on air. We're shaking around a little bit. <laughs> we got another one over there. We'll try that on Yes, the next we side. will. We will. So, some other things that are going to be happening or that you'll be able to see is I want to show you one in here. We had nice little presentation silver, right? Which one is this particular? This is thing? massive. This is out of the Edwin Illoff estate, who was the Sacramento State professor who collected the most comprehensive grouping of California silver ever assembled. And this is really the highlights of that collection. We've been selling it for nearly a year and a half. This is a piece out of the Diamond Palace in San Francisco. So just a elaborate silver manufactured in San Francisco with this great presentation. I love it. So again, this is just a few of the hundred some odd items that are in this lot. And I know we're always thinking about which item is the most expensive. Well, it's here in this room and we'll show you in the next hour. So stay with All us. Right. Take your guesses about what kind of item you think it is. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Hmm. We'll take a shot and think about it. It's a neat stuff there. I can't believe how old that is. Thank you. Now win.